Good morning, students. Okay, um, continuation lang ni sang aton niya lesson, which was discussed yesterday regarding the Department of Tourism Memorandum Circular Number 2021-002, Rules and Regulations Governing the Accreditations of Tour Guides. Okay, so ginsend ko na sa inyo, ini nga file, but may ara lang ko nga i-discuss, nga gamay para sa para sa ini nga memorandum circular and then uh, if we are going to check there is sa classification and levels of tour guides okay so this is an important nga details sinisang memorandum circular okay so sa section 2 we can see that we have the classification of tour guides dot accredited tour guides shall be classified as follows number uh, letter a Specialized, specialist tour guide. So refers to an individual who exhibits technical expertise and knowledge in a specific field of interest or activity as certified, certified by a tourism association, government or private institution, and who is allowed to guide or lead groups in any part of the Philippines within his or her scope of expertise. Ang number two is ang regional tour guide naton, which can be classified into two the regional regular tour guide, and then the master regular tour guide. So please take note nga may difference ini ang dua. Ang regular regional tour guide has met the minimum requirements for DOT accreditation, including passing the PTG qualifying exam. And ang master regional tour guide naman, at least 10 consecutive years as DOT accredited regional tour guide. Ang letter C naton is a community tour guide, refers to an individual who performs tour guiding with a particular site, attraction, or, or specific activities in a community or locality where he or she has been issued DOT accreditation. If you are going to look at here, may ara kita nga regular community tour guide, and we also have the master community tour guide. Okay, so please take note. That the classification and level of tour guides, there is a DOT memorandum circular. I will be including this sa inyo nga exam. Okay? Now, ano naman ang mga basic requirements for accreditation sa tour guides? So, sa section 5 of the memorandum circular, eligibility for accreditation, an applicant for accreditation as a tour guide must comply with the following. Okay, letter A. Nationality must be Filipino citizen or a permanent resident alien. Letter B, educational background. Ang specialist tour guide should have completed a college degree. Okay, Regional tour guides should have completed the senior high program or prior to the implementation of the K-12 program. Completed at least second year college of a two-year vocational course. And a community tour guide is a formal education is not required. At least 18 years of age, of course, must be physically fit. And then as a ilang language proficiency, a specialist tour guide, proficient in English and preferably speaking another foreign language. So usually, given some guests yang nagasulod dire sa Philippines, usually ang mga specialist tour guides si kinakuha sa mga travel agency or some tour operators, ini ang mga proficient in English and then at the same time, Korean, Chinese, Mandarin Chinese, Spanish, or Japanese because amo ini ang aton mga top four nga mga guests from outside of the Philippines nga nagasulod as inbound tourist. Okay. Regional tour guides uh, must be proficient in English. Community tour guides conversant in English must not have been found liable in any complaint filed with the DOT by a stakeholder or tourist relative to tour guiding activities and must not have been convicted of a crime involving moral turpitude by a court of law. Okay, so requirement hang at least wala sila yasang kaso or not convicted of a crime. Okay, nga aman para man yung maging safe ang ato niya nga mga guest. Okay, now, continuation. Ano ang uh, requirements for application for accreditation? Okay, so, ang application for accreditation, amusini ang nagapa-accredit ikaw to be a tour guide 
to be a DOT um, accredited tour guide. Tour guide ka na nga daan, pero dapat DOT accredited ikaw para makasulod ikaw sa DOT or ma-hire ikaw sa LGU para nga maging tour guide para sa ilang nga community. Okay? So, if you can see there, if you can see there, makita ninyo ang mga requirements. Okay? So, ang specialist tour guides, ang master regional tour guides na to, so, ara, tana, nakabutang man. Don't you guys worry. I'm going to send this file again sa inyo para nga you will have your copy. Okay. Continuation, um, validity of accreditation. So, monitoring of tour guides na ito. Nakabutang diritanan kung ano ang ilang accreditation validity, ang application period, anong period of non-renewal, ang ilang mga balayran is also written here. And then, uh, number six is the grounds for denial, suspension, cancellation, or revocation of accreditation. Okay. So, tanan ini di rin nakabutang, please just uh, find time para nga inyo nga basahon. Okay? Okay. So, um, ang National Code of Ethics for Professional Tour Guides, ari naman nakabutang. And then, ang ato niya gin-discuss yesterday na number 1 to number 18. Okay? So, amo lang ni guys, ang para sa ato nga BOT Memorandum Circular, please take time to read the file because may makuha ang itako diri nga exam para sa inyo nga midterm. Okay? Thank you so much.